Welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials. Have you subscribed yet to the YouTube channel? If you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly do so and hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. And if you're looking for a private tutor to tutor you online, of course, effectively, and also if you have assignments, uh, you can easily get in touch with me on the contact details that I've dropped in the uh, description box. Okay, so here now we're going to look at uh, this question. Okay, this question. This is under photoelectric effect, okay. So the photoelectric thre threshold wavelength of a tangent surface is 270 nanometer. Calculate the maximum kinetic energy in uh, electron volt, EV is electron volt, of the electrons ejected from the, this tangent uh, surface by ultraviolet radiation of frequency 1.45 by 10 to the power 15 hertz. Okay, so now the first thing that we need to remember is the formula. We have the photon energy. Okay, so this is frequency of course, being equal to the maximum kinetic of the ejected, uh, of course, electron plus work function. And this work function is usually like that. Okay, so now for us to be able to get the maximum kinetic energy, we need to have, we need to find the photon energy and also the work function. So this work function, is the energy, is the minimum energy that is needed for, for electrons to be emitted, okay, for emission of electrons. So here we have what, what is referred to as the critical frequency. So below that frequency, no electron can be ejected from the surface. So we start with the work function which is so given by that. Now, in the question, you're going to discover that the wavelength of the, this surface is uh, 270 nanometer. And this nanometer is the wavelength. Here we have the frequency. So this one, H is actually Planck's constant. So we have Planck's constant, which is 6.60. No, 6.626 by 10 to the power negative 34 joules second. And then we are multiplying by the frequency. But I want to convert this to electron volts already. Okay, so meaning I will have to divide by because I know one electron volt is equivalent to 1.602 by 10 to the power negative 19 joules. So we have 1.602 by 10 to the power negative 19 oh, sorry. joules. The electron volt. Okay, and then this is multiplied by the frequency. Okay, so the work function is going to be It's going to be 4.136 by 10 to the power negative 15 
Okay, electron volt second. Okay, and then we have uh, the frequency there. So now that we have we have been given the wavelength. Now we look at the relationship between the wavelength and the, the frequency. So what we have is the speed of light is given by that. So wavelength is actually speed of light over, I mean frequency, sorry. I want to substitute for frequency and not lambda. So we have frequency being equal to speed of light over lambda, which is wavelength. So this equation is going to be it's going to be 4.136 by 10 to the power negative 15 electron volt. We are multiplying by the speed of light, which is approximately three eight and then we're dividing by lambda which is 200 watt 270 nanometer 270 nano so nano nano is actually uh, 10 to the power negative 9 meter so you have to make sure that you have uh, correct SI units. Okay, so we're going to have we're going to have one point two four and the power negative six. That meter and that will go. So we have okay. So the work function is actually four point point five nine six electron volts. So we found the wave function. Now we can find the photon energy. Okay. Photon energy. And this energy, find, uh, okay. So we have the radiation of frequency, this 1.45. So photon energy is going to be 6. 626 times 10 to the power that is 34. Choose the second as well. We are also so we also convert this to electron volts. Then we're multiplying by the frequency. Here we have the frequency, which is 1.45 by 10 to the power 15 hertz, which is per second. Okay. So photon energy here is going to be Which is going to be what point five point nine nine seven electron volts. 
Okay, so remember we had this equation, maximum kinetic energy plus the work function. So maximum kinetic energy of the ejected electron is basically going to be that minus that. So we have 5.9 electron volt minus, what did we find? We found the four, 4.596 4 4 okay. electron volt. So if we subtract, So we have 1.401 electron volt as the maximum kinetic energy. Ah, thank you so much for your time. I hope this video has helped you. Kindly give it a like, comment, and also share with others.